The queen of power ballads is not happy with Donald Trump for using her iconic song, My Heart Will Go On, during a campaign rally in Montana on Friday. Celine Dion's team didn't waste time to condemn the unauthorized use of her song, taking to X the very next day on Saturday, August 10th, to release a pointed statement. Today, Celine Dion's management team and her record label, Sony Music Entertainment Canada Incorporated, became aware of the unauthorized usage of the video, recording, musical performance, and likeness of Celine Dion singing My Heart Will Go On at a Donald Trump slash J.D. Vance campaign rally in Montana. In no way is this use authorized, and Celine Dion does not endorse this or any similar use, the statement reads. The message concluded with a scornful remark, and really, that song. Trump's choice of music at the rally didn't stop with Dion. According to social media accounts, the former president also played hits like Without You by Harry Nielsen, Marvin Gaye's Mercy, Mercy Me, Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You, and several Elvis tracks. This isn't the first time Trump has played Dion's music at political events, but his decision to show a video of her performing the iconic Titanic ballad could now land him in legal hot water. As reported by Variety, the unauthorized use of Dion's likeness and performance at the rally could have serious consequences for Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance. Jeezy's latest collaboration with K-pop group Atiz has fans buzzing, and not just because of the music. The 35-year-old rapper's verse on the remix of the band's new single, Work, which dropped on August 9th, has sparked speculation that he might be taking a swipe at his ex-girlfriend, Halsey Eye on the track, Jeezy, born Gerald Earl Gillum, delivered a line that caught the attention of listeners, Acton, innocent, no, it's not your first time slash we're far away if Libra is her sign slash oof. Danger, 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 danger. Slash don't be a stranger, don't be a stranger. Slash she said no one can save her. Given that Halsey, 29, is a Libra, fans quickly connected the dots, with many believing the rapper used his verse to subtly shade the pop star. Social media was quick to react. One fan tweeted, got weirded out when he sings that, because I immediately remember Halsey. This is a teaser song, YTF, did you make it about you? Sick. While another chimed in, Jeezy shading Halsey in a K-pop collab, this was not on my bingo list at all. Halsey and Jeezy had a highly publicized relationship starting in 2017 with their collab on the song Him, and I before calling it quits in 2018 that Halsey hinted at the tumultuous nature of the relationship in a 2019 interview with Cosmopolitan, saying, if the worst thing that's happened to me so far is I wore dumb clothes and dated AS asterisk asterisk TTY dude, I think I'm doing all right. She has also hinted that the relationship was abusive. However, other sources claimed that the relationship was mutually toxic, especially toward the end, per US Weekly. Jennifer Goodwin is eager to return to Storybrooke. Speaking to People magazine at the D23 fan event in Anaheim on Friday, August 1st, the 46-year-old actress shared her enthusiasm for a potential reboot of the beloved ABC series, Once Upon a Time. I hear these rumors as well, about a reboot, and I am available if they want to do that, Goodwin shared, hinting that she's just waiting for the call. I mean, I live around the corner from the creator, so I'm sure I'll hear things. Goodwin, who famously portrayed Snow White on the fantasy series, has a deep connection to the show, both professionally and personally. I'd love to go back. My whole life is kind of built around it. I mean, I married Prince Charming. His babies are my babies, she added, referring to her husband, Josh Dallas, whom she met on the OU80 set and with whom she shares two children. Once Upon a Time, which aired from 2011 to 2018, brought iconic fairy tale characters into the modern world and captivated audiences for seven seasons. Alongside Goodwin and Dallas, Prince Charming, the series featured an ensemble cast including Lana Perea, The Evil Queen, Robert Carlyle, Rumpelstiltskin, and Jennifer Morrison, Emma Swan. 